It turns out you don't need to smash the like or subscribe button. You can, you can just tap it. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. And yeah, be nice to your phone and computer. Quit smashing those buttons and just tap it. Jim and I are fishing muskies on Eagle Lake. We're gonna be throwing blades on rocks because that seems to be what has been working as of late in the morning and in the afternoon. So I'm trying to not hit rocks here right now. That's what we're gonna do. We got a nice early start here. Um, yeah, blades on rocks after that. We actually have some weather coming in. We've had uh, two and a half days of beautiful weather. Not necessarily beautiful for, for muskies, but it's been low winds, high skies, sunny. So. Uh, maybe a little bit of weather here is going to really ramp these fish up. Not that we've been doing bad, we've been putting a couple fish in the boat every day, but we've got 70-ish degree water temps, and we've got a whole 68,000 acre Canadian Shield Lake of muskies to go chase. So let's go do it. Would have been a doozy. Lens cover on me. Just me. Oh, jeez. Hey, big one. Okay. Just be kind of, I kind of yanked it up that time, just trying something different. Yeah. Some it popped right up and got. All right. Now he's an average buster. <laughs> All right. Well, there we are. Jim starting off the morning again. Second morning in a row with another beautiful Eagle Lake musky. All right, everybody. Well, I said we were going to start out with blades on reefs, and we did. Jim got a fish, but we're fishing a particular reef that I know they like top water on. So I'm going to throw this sassy-looking, obnoxious bee. It's a big mama bait. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's got the jitterbug lip and the tail in the back, so it flips and flops and does all sorts of crazy stuff. A lot of commotion. Jim is sticking <coughs> with a trilogy on a surgical strike. We're both throwing surgical strike 2020s, nine foot with tranxuses, and I got a seagull that's trying to eat my bait. Go away. Ready. Yep. Oh, there's one, here's one. A little low and slow. All right, well, first contact with a fish on this spot. Yeah, it was, a, it was a decent looking fish. Just wish he'd have stuck around to do something about it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He might eat it. Nope, man, they, he got all ramped up again on that corner and then when I come around, nothing. Huh, shoot. I had high hopes for that one.
folks, uh, after not a terrible morning because we did get a fish, uh, but after that first fish, we kind of struck out on most of the spots. We saw fish, not a ton. Uh, the other boat, the other guys that are up here, Nate and Matt, they saw quite a few on rocks with bucktails, uh, but they didn't get anything. So yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a terrible morning. We know there's some fish in some spots and yeah, I don't know. I'm still tired, obviously, even though we went and had a nap and lunch. And back behind Jim over here, there's a little bit of weather. Luckily, that went south of us. So hopefully there's some weather popping up, not on top of us, but around us. Enough so much so that it will get some fish moving. And uh, it's 4 o'clock, so we got about four and a half hours to get something done. So let's get to it. Okay. There we go, swam right in. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> give, him, give him the tiger. Give him the tiger. All right, we'll put her on spot lock and. Uh... Woo! Woo! <laughs> that's the better one, I think. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a, I think it's a mid 40s, we'll see. Did he come up right at the yeah. eight and just. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we'll stop some cameras and we'll do a thing here. fishy with those back lid a little bit. It's a nice Eagle Lake fish. All right, Jim. So you can slide her in. Between the fish almost putting a barb through my thumbnail and yeah, it I'm tried to bite Jim. <laughs> but we, we got ourselves a fish as a beautiful 43 incher and uh, might be onto something because right before that I had what looked like an upper 40 inch fish come in um, on a Medusa that I was ripping through the weeds. So may have stumbled into a pattern here. We shall see. Got him. Oh, I had him. Had him. I gave it that one last pop through the weeds there, and uh, shoot. Oh, weeds. Gosh darn it, well that almost worked. A little, uh, like a 40 incher maybe, but that's all right. Whew, that's a lot of work. Come on. Could you sell size on that? No. I was just in the middle of a cast and I heard the splash and you know, the other side. I don't know if it was just a big pike or a muskie. Well, I kept my cool, didn't pull the bait away, just kept reeling. Not that that did me any good, but <laughs> I can feel good about it, I guess. I know those hooks are sharp because I sharpened them earlier. Yeah? Okay. Alrighty. 
Another piker. Another piker. All right, a decent piker, huh? Oh yeah. It's not a bad one. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, yeah. I already had somebody try to put a hook through my hand today. It's, I don't need you to as well. Yeah, that's a. Man, I can't hardly get my hand around him to do some surgery here. It looked long when it, yeah. when it kind of hit it sideways. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. All right, there we go. That was a little tricky, but Jim's another nice little pike. How about you go away without splashing everybody? Thank you. All right. Well, despite having seven more minutes to fish, because you can only fish one half hour after sunset on Eagle Lake, that puts us at 845. We were just short of that, but we just finished up our last spot, and uh, there's not time to really go anywhere else. So. We're gonna wrap it up. This is the first night uh, that we've been here this trip where blades on rocks at night this last hour, hour and a half did not work for us. Only raised one fish, weren't really seeing much. The whole day the fish were a little bit lazy. I mean, despite we, and we got two fish, so that's great. We've averaged, uh, I think we've got nine fish so far, so just over two fish a day. And uh, can't complain about that because Eagle Lake can be very tough sometimes. The only thing we're really missing right now is a big fish. Um, in our boat, the biggest is 44 and a half as of right now, but we've got some nice quality fish. They're all in the upper 30s, a lot of low 40s. So can't complain too hard about that. Um, but yeah, we're going to do this again tomorrow and the next day and the next day and then one more day after that. we got four more days here. Uh, we're staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. It's a lovely little place to stay here on Eagle Lake. I'll leave their information in the description below so you can check them out. Other than that, that's it. It's time for maybe a Canadian beer, perhaps a pizza. We'll see. I don't know what's for supper yet, but we're going to go and check it out. And I appreciate every single one of you watching this nonsense, and I'll see you on the next video.